The ocean is quite mysterious, having been the most unexplored part of our planet for centuries, a fact that remains true to this day. Nevertheless, discoveries made in the abyss have baffled researchers themselves. From lost ancient cities to underwater circles, here are 20 strange things found in the deep sea. Number 20. The Lost City In 331 BC, before the foundation of the great Alexandria of Egypt, Thonis Heraklion was deemed among the most glorious cities ever established. It was the obligatory port of entry to Egypt and where the Temple of Amun stood, making it a place of great religious importance. It was the hub of international trade, adorned with masterful decorations at every corner. However, its glory did not last. In the 8th century AD, it sank entirely into the depths of the Mediterranean as it succumbed to the earthquakes and tidal waves that struck it repeatedly. At the end of the 20th century, French underwater archaeologist Frank Goggio finally rediscovered Thonis Heraklion. Right at the turn of the century, Goggio found the lost city hidden beneath the Mediterranean surface, off the coast of modern-day Alexandria. What welcomed the divers was extraordinary. Statues of Egyptian gods and goddesses towering over 16 feet high, gold jewelry, coins, and the remains of ancient ships that once sailed the Mediterranean. All of these are remnants of a great city that thrived a staggering 2,400 years ago. With each dive, archaeologists uncover more clues about this mysterious city, piecing together a narrative lost to the waves. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Giant Isopod Exploring the ocean isn't for the weak of heart, literally and figuratively. Aside from the fact that it takes a lot of training for someone to endure diving in the deepest depths that humans can reach, it's usual to encounter monstrous creatures while diving in the deep blue. I mean, it's their home, after all. And let me tell you, while most of these marine creatures won't bother hurting humans, they certainly look like something out of a nightmare. If you're scared of bugs, there's a chance that you'll find this creature monstrous. This is the giant isopod. These creatures can grow up to 2.5 feet long, at least those that live in the deeper parts of the ocean. These critters are fascinating examples of deep-sea gigantism, a phenomenon where animals grow to much larger sizes than their shallow water relatives due to the conditions of their environment. Giant isopods live in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, crawling along the seabed at depths ranging from 550 to 7,020 feet. The way they eat can also be quite horrifying for some. You see, these guys are scavengers, feasting on the dead and decaying matter that falls from the ocean surface. While most of us would be terrified by that idea, these creatures are important for the ocean's deep-sea ecosystem as they help recycle nutrients and help keep the ocean floor clean. Scientists are also quite fascinated by them because of their incredible adaptability. You see, these guys' exoskeletons aren't just there for intimidation. Instead, this is a tough, armor-like exoskeleton that protects them from the high pressure of the deep sea. Their dark eyes are also compound, making them highly sensitive to the faintest glimmers of light, which helps them navigate the pitch-black waters. But the most unbelievable part? These creatures can survive for months without eating. In fact, they can last for even years. This adaptation is crucial for survival in the deep sea, where food can be scarce. When a meal does come along, they're known to gorge themselves to the point of being unable to move. They're truly fascinating creatures, but I'd prefer they remain in the abyss. Number 18. Vampire Squid Despite its fearsome name, the vampire squid is not the bloodthirsty monster you might imagine. It's not even an actual squid, nor is it a vampire. Quite confusing, I know. This creature, whose scientific name literally translates to vampire squid from hell, again, despite not being a squid, is among the monsters that lurk in the ocean, specifically in tropical waters. This creature is considered a living fossil. It's the last of its kind, representing a group that diverged from the lineage that led to squids and octopuses hundreds of millions of years ago. The cephalopod only grows to about a foot long, and it sports a dark, velvety mantle with webbing connecting its eight arms, each lined with rows of fleshy spines instead of suckers. When threatened, it can invert its cape, showing off a set of intense, spiky-looking filaments, which is probably how it got its vampire moniker. Add a pair of glowing bioluminescent eyes to the mix, 
and you'll get a deep sea creature that's truly intimidating. The vampire squid seems to only have one similarity to vampires. It's the fact that they live far away from the sun in depths of up to 3,000 feet. It thrives in this inhospitable place by being an opportunistic feeder, dining on marine snow. Snow? In the ocean? Yeah, it sounds magical, but in reality, it's a delightful mix of dead organisms, poop, and other organism detritus that drifts down from the ocean's upper layers. Scrumptious. Ugh. Number 17. Gulper Eel Have you seen what pelicans look like when their beaks are full? Now imagine that beak in a fish. Sounds monstrous, doesn't it? Just wait until you see what a pelican eel actually looks like. With a mouth that can swallow prey larger than its body, the pelican eel, or the gulper eel, is among the most unimaginable beings living in the abyss. This eerie inhabitant of the deep dark likes to hang out in the midnight zone, about 1,600 to nearly 20,000 feet below the surface. This jaw-dropping, literally and figuratively, feature can open wide enough to swallow prey much larger than the eel itself. But despite its gaping maw, the eel's diet mainly consists of small crustaceans and other oceanic critters that drift into its path. However, this beast can gorge if it wants to, as the gulper eel also has a very stretchy stomach. As I said earlier, despite its fearsome appearance, the gulper eel is relatively harmless to humans, mainly because we don't typically cross paths. Despite their wide, gaping mouths, their size is relatively small compared to us, with a length of 2.5 feet, although specimens of over 3 feet are plausible. The point is, these creatures would have been a lot scarier if they were bigger. Number 16. Black Swallower Now this is yet another bizarre sea creature. If you ask me, the black swallower is more nightmarish to look at than the gulper eel. Also living at depths between 2,200 to 9,000 feet, the black swallower has adapted to secure as much food as possible in an inhospitable ecosystem. At first glance, the black swallower might seem like an ordinary fish. It's relatively small, usually growing not much longer than 10 inches, but its secret hides in its stomach that can expand to allow the fish to swallow prey much larger than its body. Yes, you heard that right. This already sounds horrifying, but imagine being preyed on and being consumed by something much smaller than you. I guess being a creature living in the abyss is incredibly tough. Number 15. Pink See-Through Fantasia Deep within the cold waters of the Celebus Sea, among other locations, is the See-Through Fantasia. I know what you're thinking. This creature doesn't look like anything from this planet. Trust me, even scientists were quite surprised upon seeing this creature for the first time. As its name suggests, the pink see-through fantasia is, well, see-through. Its body allows you to see what's inside it, including its beating internal organs. The fantasia is the close relative of the sea cucumbers you see in shallow water. However, unlike its kin, fantasia is an adept swimmer. It uses its translucent webbed fins to propel and navigate the abyss. Although it looks monstrous, the Fantasia has a pretty simple diet. The pink see-through Fantasia is a detritivore, feeding on the remains of the ocean's dead. It recycles nutrients, playing a crucial role in the deep sea ecosystem. Number 14. Telescope Fish This is probably among the eeriest looking fish in this video, and I'm pretty sure it's because of its eyes. If you can even call them that, rather than normalize, this fish has long tubular organs similar to a telescope. I guess it's already pretty obvious how this fish got its name. Positioned at the top of its head and pointing upwards, these tubular eyes give the telescope fish an unparalleled upward vision, allowing it to detect the faint silhouettes of prey swimming above. What's more, these remarkable eyes are also highly adapted to capture the scarce light available in the deep sea, making it easier for the telescope fish to hunt and catch prey even in the darkness of the abyss. Sporting a sleek, elongated form, this fish is built for stealth and speed. Its dark metallic hue allows it to blend seamlessly into the depths, making it nearly invisible to prey and predators. And while its body may appear delicate, don't be fooled. This fish is a formidable predator, using its sharp teeth and swift movements to catch unsuspecting meals. Now you might wonder, how does such a tiny fish thrive in such an extreme environment? The answer lies in its incredible adaptations. 
Apart from its unique visual capabilities and stealthy physique, the telescope fish has developed a lifestyle perfectly suited to the deep sea. It's a loner, preferring the solitary depths and relying on its specialized hunting skills to survive in a world where every meal counts. Number 13. Ancient Computer In 1901, archaeologists off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera discovered a shipwreck laden with historical artifacts. The shipwreck was located about 148 feet beneath the surface and was filled with numerous treasures from bronze and marble statues, pottery, glassware, jewelry, and coins. However, what captured the attention of many is an ancient computer. Yes, you heard that right. An ancient computer. Now, it's far from the computers we use today. Imagine a wooden box about the size of a thick hardcover book filled with an intricate network of at least 30 bronze gears. This device, dating back to around 100 BC, was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses decades ago. That might not sound like much for us today, but for people around 100 BC, to create something like this is astonishing. It's safe to say that this mechanism, which we now call the Antikythera mechanism, is a 2,000-year-old computing mechanism. Scientists and historians were initially baffled. How could a sophisticated object emerge from a period when most of the world was still figuring out basic machinery? The Antikythera mechanism worked through a series of dials and gears, allowing its user to set a date on one dial, which would then calculate the position of the sun, moon, and possibly the planets. This means that ancient Greeks had a way to understand celestial phenomena with precision that wouldn't be matched for centuries. Although much about the Antikythera remains a mystery, one thing is for sure. It's among the greatest artifacts we've ever discovered underwater. Number 12. Yeti Crab The Yeti Crab is a sea creature that lives up to its name quite well. Much like the abominable snowman, it's characterized by its fluffy hair. Yes, hair. Or more specifically, sea tie. This strange crab resides deep in the pitch black waters of the Pacific Ocean, near hydrothermal vents that spew out mineral rich water as hot as 400 degrees Celsius, or 752 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's living in such a hot environment, why would it need hair? Wouldn't it make more sense for it to live in cold environments? Usually, that would be the case, but the Yeti crab sea tie isn't for insulation or temperature regulation. Instead, it's a farm. Now I know that's quite confusing, and trust me, even scientists were perplexed when they learned how the Yeti crab survives. You see, this creature lets bacteria thrive on their furry claws. If that's not enough, they also munch on whatever organic particles drift their way. Both its appearance and feeding habits make the Yeti crab among the most unique sea creatures we've had the opportunity to study so far. Number 11. Sea Spider People with arachnophobia have it tough, huh? There are spiders all over the world, in every country, except the polar regions, the Alps, and the highest mountains. Arachnids also can't live in the ocean, but they do have a look-alike down there. This is the sea spider. And if you fear arachnids for the way they look, the appearance of this sea creature might equally terrify you. Unlike spiders on land, sea spiders are considered arthropods. So far, there are over 1,300 known species of them, and their legs can be as short as less than an inch to as long as 2.3 feet. Yes, some sea spiders have legs the same length as a mid-sized dog, but aside from looking eerie and unnerving, do they pose a threat to humans? Not really. They might be on the nope list for people who fear spiders, but for the rest, they're fascinating creatures that learn to adapt in the ocean. Number 10. Deepest Shipwreck Imagine 20 Eiffel Towers stacked on top of each other. If you take the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa, and stack seven more on top of it, these two pretty much have the same height. Now imagine climbing at that height. It sounds daunting already. After all, that's an altitude of 22,500 feet. Now imagine that, but instead of climbing up, you're diving to that depth in the ocean. I don't know about you, but that's far more ambitious than reaching an altitude of 22,500 feet. The average commercial plane can fly up to 30,000 feet, sometimes even 40,000. However, the deepest dive with an open-circuit scuba was only a little over 1,000 feet. Today, it's difficult for us to reach the ocean's depths without using submersibles and ROVs. 
And so, when divers and researchers discovered the wreck of the USS Samuel B. Roberts, or Sammy B., many were astonished. Remember the height of eight Burj Khalifas? That's how deep the Sammy B. is underwater. It was discovered in June 2022 and is located in the Philippine Sea. This ship was named after Coxswain Samuel Booker Roberts Jr., the hero of the Battle of Guadalcanal. It was a John C. Butler-class destroyer escort launched into service in 1944. It was a ship that took part in the Battle of Samar during the larger confrontation of the Battle of Leyte Gulf in World War II. Facing a vastly superior Japanese force, including the Yamato, the largest battleship ever built, the Sami B and its crew displayed extraordinary bravery. Despite being significantly outclassed, the crew of Sami B managed to damage the Japanese fleet before ultimately succumbing to the power of the Yamato, with 89 of its 224 crew members making the ultimate sacrifice. Years later, the Sami B was again discovered thanks to retired U.S. Navy officer Victor Vescovo and French sonar specialist Jeremy Morzette. Unfortunately, this historic wreck's location is quite challenging to reach. The wreck's depth is so extreme that it's in a realm where less than 2% of the ocean lies. But perhaps we should be thankful that it's there where the waters would preserve it for more years to come. Number 9. Deep Sea Vents The abyss is usually associated with cold temperatures. But did you know that some parts of the ocean can reach scorching high heat? I'm talking about a part of the ocean where the temperature reaches 400 degrees Celsius. Yes, you guessed it. I'm talking about the hydrothermal vents, or simply deep sea vents. These are among the most bizarre locations in the ocean. What's astounding is that some creatures have learned to thrive in this extreme environment. At these vents, life thrives not by photosynthesis, using sunlight to make food, but by chemosynthesis. Microscopic bacteria convert the chemicals spewed out by the vents, such as hydrogen sulfide, into organic matter. This process forms the base of a unique food chain that sustains a variety of bizarre creatures, from giant red-tipped tube worms that can grow up to several meters long, to ghostly fish and peculiar shrimp with eyes on their back. Number 8. Frilled Shark This is the frilled shark, and just like the vampire squid, it's considered a living fossil because of how little it's changed over the years. To this day, it has primitive traits. This eel-like predator, known for its unique gills that stretch across its throat and are adorned with red fringes, swims in the deep sea shadows. It boasts a terrifying set of 300 trident-shaped backward-facing teeth designed to trap any prey it encounters. Scientists believe its hunting method might mimic a snake's, striking swiftly at its prey. Despite its worldwide distribution, it remains a rare sight, lurking in depths between 390 and 4,200 feet. For this reason, we still have much to learn about these magnificent creatures. Number 7. Magna Pinna No, that's not a piece of fabric floating in the dark waters. That's the Magna Pinna. With a name that means Big Fin, it's hard to miss this creature. These underwater species are one of a kind, with their distinguishing massive fins that account for about 90% of their mantle length and spindly appendages that resemble those of a daddy long-legged spider. With a length of over 20 feet, it's safe to say that their names are pretty justified. The big fin squid's arms and tentacles, indistinguishable from one another, dangle from their bodies in an eerie manner, speculated by some scientists to function as a spiderweb-like net for capturing prey. These creatures can be quite creepy, but you don't have to worry about encountering the Magna Pinna while swimming, since they prefer depths of over 20,000 feet. However, because of how isolated their habitat is, there's much to learn about these creatures. In fact, they've only been officially recognized relatively recently, with the first specimen caught in the early 1900s. Since then, there have been about 20 recorded sightings over two decades, making them among the most elusive creatures on Earth. Now, I'm a pretty courageous fella, but if I saw this pass beneath my boat while I was out in the ocean, I'd probably be horrified. Good thing that these guys prefer floating by in the abyss, where creatures even more monstrous than them exist. Number 6. 13,000-year-old Native American In 2007, archaeological divers exploring the underwater cave system of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula had quite a shocking discovery. A human skull. Not just any skull but one that dates back to several millennia ago. 
Subsequent research revealed that the skull belonged to a 16-year-old girl whom scientists later named Naya, the Greek water nymph. Researchers believe that she lived between 12,000 and 13,000 years ago. It was a time when saber-toothed cats, giant sloths, and other Ice Age animals roamed what is now the Yucatan Peninsula. Unfortunately, she met her untimely demise after falling into the sinkhole inside the cavern. Despite her tragic death, Naya helped advance our understanding of the first Americans and how our predecessors traveled and migrated over vast lands. Despite it being over two decades since Naya was found, we're still waiting to learn more about her and how she lived in one of the toughest periods in the history of mankind. Number 5. Mysterious Golden Orb Just by looking at this orb, can you try to guess what it is? If you're coming up with nothing, don't worry, because researchers themselves were quite confused upon seeing this golden orb initially. This mysterious object was discovered during Noah's Seascape Alaska 5 expedition in 2023. The object immediately caught the attention of researchers because of its color. It measured 4 inches in diameter, unlike anything we'd ever observed on the seafloor of the Gulf of Alaska before. What's more bizarre was the fact that when it was analyzed for the first time, researchers found out that it was of biological origin. This was discovered after retrieving the specimen to be studied in a laboratory. And yet, its exact classification remains unknown. Is it an egg casing? Peeled skin? An unknown organism like the pyrosome? Well, we really don't know. At least, not yet. All we know for now is that it's quote-unquote biological in origin, and it was found two miles beneath the ocean's surface, specifically on a seamount. So, any theories? Number 4. Yonaguni Monument The Yonaguni Monument is an alleged monument left behind by a civilization hundreds, perhaps thousands of years ago. This massive monument was discovered by a diver back in the 1980s while diving around Yonaguni Island, Japan. This structure spans over 165 feet in length and about 65 feet in width. However, what made this discovery bizarre is the fact that it's so highly debated. The diver who first stumbled upon the Yonaguni firmly believed it was proof of a forgotten ancient civilization that once thrived in the area. This would make his name well known in the country and his contribution would be immense. Unfortunately for him, most geologists disagreed with his theory. Some local marine geologists posit that these formations could be man-made, perhaps the remnants of the legendary lost continent of Mu, suggesting a civilization that predated known history. He points to the monument's stepped monoliths as evidence of human craftsmanship. His other colleagues, however, have a different story. Natural formation theorists like geologist Robert Schach argue that the monument's characteristics, its straight lines and symmetrical formations, can be attributed to the natural processes of erosion and fracturing. Schach and others believe the monument to be a product of underwater currents shaping the sandstones and mudstones over millions of years. So rather than a formation left behind by a civilization, it was something that nature created over time. While the consensus is towards the latter theory, the Yonaguni remains among the most mysterious structures that could have possibly been left behind by the ancient world. The doomed civilization? Or just Mother Nature at work? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 3. Christ of the Abyss The Christ of the Abyss is a remarkable bronze statue by Guido Galetti. Just as its title tells you, the Christ of the Abyss depicts Jesus Christ with his arms wide open. This creation was meant to be submerged underwater. The origin of this statue can be traced back to 1954. On August 22nd that year, the original Christ of the Abyss was lowered into the Mediterranean waters just off San Frutuoso on the Italian River. Many people who come across it while diving are always in awe upon seeing it in person. The impact of this statue was so immense that seven years after the monument was erected, a second bronze sculpture was cast from the same mold. Today, these bronze statues stand underwater and will continue to impress divers from all over the globe for years to come. Number 2. Giant Pyrosome If you dive down deep in the ocean and see an elongated plastic-like tube like this, there's a huge chance that you're looking at a pyrosome. Yes, you heard that right. This plastic-like tube isn't garbage. In reality, this long tube is a group of astounding creatures. I know it's hard to imagine, but although there's only one long tube like this one, it's made up of individual organisms that join together called zoids. 
It starts with several, and then more join together until they form a tube that can grow to an astonishing 60 feet long. Now aside from their size, pyrosomes are also bioluminescent, which means while they look like plastic during the day, they can glow during the night. Imagine swimming alongside a giant glowing tube that lights the water around it with a soft blue-green hue. They probably look otherworldly. Each zoid that makes up the entire pyrosome contributes to the colony's well-being by drawing in water, filtering out microscopic algae and plankton to eat, and then expelling the cleaned water. These actions also help propel them throughout the ocean. It might be bizarre for us, but for these creatures, it's an incredibly efficient system that allows them to survive in the tough ecosystem underwater. Pyrosomes are among the creatures that really make me wonder what other kinds of monstrosities are living at the bottom of the ocean. If you know about other sea creatures that you think are too bizarre to be true, comment them down below, and I'll be sure to read it. And now it's time for today's topic. Nobody was supposed to find this. If a diver didn't capture this, no one would believe it. A diver was exploring the colder parts of the Antarctic when he saw this creature. It might look ordinary at first glance, but if you look closely, you'll realize that this crab-like creature is unlike anything we've ever seen before. With a body larger than the average crab in the area and incredibly long legs, the diver felt inclined to get closer to the bizarre creature. He took a photo and decided to get even closer, but when he did, he claimed that the crab slowly disappeared almost as if camouflaged within the surroundings. Now, no one would believe the diver had he not captured this photo. And while many believe that he just spotted a crab species that might have never been discovered before, scientists are skeptical of his narrative about its sudden disappearance. An exaggerated claim or a mind-blowing discovery? For now, we can only speculate. Number 1. Underwater Circles Imagine snorkeling in the crystal clear waters off the coast of Japan or the Philippines, enjoying the vibrant coral reefs and the bustling marine life. Suddenly, you stumble upon a perfectly symmetrical, intricately patterned circle etched in the sandy ocean floor. What could it possibly be? Could it be the work of underwater aliens? Ancient sea gods, perhaps? Nope. These small circles are the work of a small male pufferfish. Yep, you heard that right. These underwater crop circles are elaborate nests constructed by male pufferfish to attract mates, and the process is nothing short of extraordinary. The male fish uses his fins to painstakingly create these detailed patterns in the sand, working day and night for up to nine days to complete his masterpiece. A single one of these can measure up to a staggering 6.5 feet in diameter. That's big, considering male puffers of this species only grow up to 10 centimeters. Now, not only do these nests attract female puffers, but they'll also serve as their nest. You see, the intricate grooves and ridges will help minimize ocean currents over the nest area, protecting the eggs laid within. Mating rituals in the animal world truly won't ever cease to amaze me, and even scientists. After all, it took years before they discovered that puffers are the ones responsible for these bizarre patterns. Which of these discoveries do you think is the most intriguing? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.